Hi guys, so this is today's nail design, really festive, fun for uh, the winter time and for Christmas here. So I did some stamping and a little glitter polish there. So the plate is this plate and it's a classic plate from Born Pretty Store. It is um, BPL018. A lot of times if you put it in like Christmas or Christmas plate you might find it. And I used this design here with the little hearts, really cute. One thing I did notice though is that this chevron part shows up really, really darker, a lot darker than the rest of it. So um, you can probably see that best on this middle finger here. Pinky there. Okay, so that's the plate. And the base colors I have on are from Julep and it's Julep Carissa, K-A-R-I-S-S-A and Peyton, P-E-Y-T-O-N. Oh, sorry, P-A-Y. Peyton. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, the little topper I use again is uh, Party Hardy and I've been loving this polish right now for uh, Christmas. It's by China Glaze. Hopefully they still have it this year. It's a really great glitter polish. Um, stamped with Queen uh, Super Intense Pure White color. And of course you need a, a stamper and a scraper and I used Queen's Chunky Clear Stamper. And um, scraper and you need a top coat which I like to use such feet. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so I already have the colors on my nails. Just one coat. Yeah, Carissa comes on really well, but the Peyton, it just takes a few coats, but I'll be honest, Peyton stains my nails, so I'm not a huge fan of putting a lot on, and I probably won't even wear it for more than a couple days because it stains really bad. So anyway, I'm going to clean this up. And, ooh, that was dirty. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to use that image that, you know, I saw earlier, this cute little one here. And just real simple, so I'm going to take my queen white stamping polish. Let me get my stamper ready. It is covered. Queen has a new stamper that has a few parts. You can take the lid off. You can take this guy out and you can also pop the back out if it's easier for you to see that way. So it's pretty cool. Um, but this is the their first um, clear chunky stamper. So I'm just going to do this real quick on the red nails. Oh, I need a scraper. Oops, oops, oops. Just line it up and push it down. And that's it. So I'm just going to clean this off with a, um, what's it called? A roller, a lint roller. You can find those real cheap at the dollar store or wherever. I just have a few because my husband used to really be into lint rollers, so I just have those from there. And I think I picked up one at Ikea recently. And on the other nails, I'm going to be applying some of that fun um, party hardy. So I'm just going to take that. And it has a really nice um, amount of glitter. It's really awesome. I'm probably using it all, all season long, apparently, because I keep bringing it out. And just add that to the green nails, and I'll be back once I'm all stamped and all glittered up. Okay, guys, so I just finished up. I'm going to finish cleaning that off. And all we got to do is just clean up around the cuticles. It wasn't too much um, with this design, so that's nice. Not too much to clean up. And then I'll go ahead and apply my top coat. So I hope you guys like this quick and easy design. Really festive. Kind of ugly sweaterish, even though it's a cute design. Um, and I've used this plate many times before, so I have other videos on this same plate doing some different ideas. And hopefully, I think it's from Born Pretty Store. Hopefully, they still have it if you're interested. And of course, just apply your top coat like normal. Where is my top coat? Mm -hmm. Here it is. And I like to use sesh feet. So, of course, you just float it over to make sure you don't um, destroy your design there. But really quick, really easy. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.